The biggest blunder you could commit while having an affair is to fall in love. Falling in love is the big no-no. Have extramarital sex all you want. Hook up with a different mistress every day if you must. But whatever you do, do not allow yourself to fall in love. Because when you fall in love, you lose half your brain. You might as well be on crack. From then on, your brain is oozing all sorts of reality-altering chemicals which mess around with your emotional management system big time. Albeit in a very pleasant way. Happiness, euphoria, exhilaration. Sure, you can go about your professional life flying airplanes, operating on patients, or teaching math. But as far as keeping your romantically driven behavior in check, you're done. You're in love, and you're going to start acting the part without even being aware of it, let alone being cautious about it. Hi. I'm Max Lamond, and this is an excerpt from my new book, How to Cheat on Your Wife and Get Away With It, A Humorous Deconstruction of Fidelity. In this video, we sample one or two of the pitfalls you're likely to stumble into as you start having an affair. The rest are listed in the book. At first, it'll come in the form of subtle, and sometimes not so subtle, changes in your own behavior. Stuff you'd never imagine anyone would notice. Women are very good at picking up on these things. Plus, we men are so predictable that even the slightest variation in our day-to-day -day routine will stick out like a sore thumb. A classic telltale sign that something is amiss is this sudden interest of yours in improving your appearance. Usually, your idea of shopping is to waste an entire afternoon at the Home Improvement Center looking at circular saws. And now you come home with designer slacks and matching jacket? Hardly consistent with your usual rant about how trendy fashion for men would make even the Incredible Hulk look gay. What? Underwear? You mean to say that you're replacing your old gaping shorts, you know, the kind 10-year-old boys leave skid marks in, with designer underwear? Um, isn't that nothing short of an avowed intent to be seen in a more favorable light while removing your pants? <laughs> You're looking for trouble. Another thing you'll do is try and get rid of that belly. Five years ago, you exhibited a six-pack. Now you have a pair of titties. So you'll start exercising. After all, anyone's entitled to a semblance of fitness. If you're wise, you'll limit yourself to that. A little bit of healthy, innocent exercise. But no, you want those abs and pecs back. You'll start working out, no less. Bench press, sit-ups, the works. And you really think the wife won't see through that? And lastly, for now, you will put the expenses of a night out with Cindy, including the hotel room, on your credit card. Are you out of your mind? Wives read credit card reports every month. Yours, too. The only ones who don't are those who were born blind. So get it through your thick head to never, ever use your credit card in an operation involving anything that you can't readily justify as your wife goes through those reports every month and starts asking questions. So pay cash. Though even that requires attention. Some wives, who should really be in the employ of the IRS, even go so far as to trace back the exact date and time at which you've withdrawn money from an ATM and check against what you claim to have been doing at that precise time. It may sound obvious to any reasonable person out there, but the number of idiots like me who used to take these things lightly is astounding. You wouldn't believe the number of dumb asses who only get to see their kids every other weekend based on credit card reports alone. Lots more about things that'll get you caught in my book, available in Kindle format for $4.89 at the link below. Don't forget to subscribe. Next time, the importance of telling the truth. Till then, I'm Max Lamond.